Now this is the continuation of the same patient, same pregnancy, 15 weeks, 4 days with EDD of 25 August 2012. Note the difference post micturation. Now the, I asked the patient to micturate. This is the urinary bladder left and after micturation you see the changes. That's the reason that try to not perform an obstetric scan with an overfilled urinary bladder, do it with empty urinary bladder or partially filled urinary bladder. You can make up a lot of, uh, you can see a lot of differences from what we have seen in the first segment. Here you can see the things become more clear to you. Now this is the nuchal cord, nuchal transdivulence is 2.4, Down syndrome is ruled out almost, this is the head of the fetus. This is the head of the fetus, this is the body of the fetus and this is the, these are the limbs. And you can see the activity of the, see the face. This is the face, this is one eye, this is the second one. You can see the cord in a better way now, spinal cord. And you can see the cardiac activity in a better way. It was not that clear with full bladder because there was compression. Moreover, you can see the stomach bubble which was not seen in that case. This is the stomach bubble. This is the thorax. This is the heart. This area is the heart. This is thorax. This is the diaphragm. This is the stomach bubble. So this is all, this segment was to show you. Now in, uh, in the previous segment study with overfilled urinary bladder, you saw the femur that was appearing very slim and thin. And you can also see the activity of the fetus. Now the fetus is more active. Face, head, body, and limbs. Placenta is anterior wall. Cervix length is normal. This is the four chamber view of the art. So the fetus is saying goodbye. Hello. Mm-hmm. <laughs>